Hello, investors, and welcome back. Let's talk about SNDL, and I've got a few other stocks pulled up. Also, want to talk about what's happening in the market. We're going to take a look at the charts. Let's get straight into it. So, the previous close was 58 cents, it opened at 62 cents, and we had a range today between 59 cents and 62 cents. Not much of a movement there, but this has had a 52 week range. Of 40 cents all the way to a dollar 49 the volume starting to increase you can see it's up over a hundred million and average trading volumes 74 million let's take a look at the heat map and finviz and you can see oil was up today and when oil's up it looks like everything else is red and they do this rotation back and forth and it's no surprise as the EU is starting to consider banning oil, they haven't pulled that trigger yet, but as oil prices go up, we've got to watch out. Now let's take a look at what was trending volume wise because there's one other stock besides s and that I really want to point out to you. Of course, AMC was trending yesterday. We had Mullen Automotive. I've covered this in the past. Risky play at this point right here, but it looks like it wants to hold support at $3 and go up. We've also got this C-E-L-Z, Creative Medical Technology Holdings, and I've got something pulled up for you on that. Basically, they've made progress on lower back pain, and this is one that I want you to watch right here at $3.10. I don't know whether or not this is a buy, but I'm going to be doing some more research on this, and I'm going to include a shout out to the Patreon members to let them know what my due diligence is on that one. So I'm, I'm very curious. Lower back pain? Come on. I'm, I'm looking into this one. So oil goes up and you see those energy plays also go up. CEI and Imp or Imperial Petroleum Incorporated. We got Sundial coming in number seven. We got Apple in number nine. We got AMD, which is losing a little bit of momentum. And Neo, we've got those China plays bringing up 11, 12, and 13. Alibaba was ripping today. So let's go into Apple real quick. Apple buys UK fintech startup. Uh, you know, Apple is just a good buy on the dip for a long-term investor. I really like Apple. I'm really excited to see what they come out with with the uh, the vehicle that they're supposed to be coming out with and who they're going to partner with. That's going to be a massive mover for the market. So Creative Medical Technology announces positive top line results for stem spine pilot study. And the one that I'm talking about here is going to be this one. If we go back here, it's trending number three on overall volume. This is CELZ. So be sure to put this one on your watch list if it isn't already. Two-year follow-up results confirm significant efficacy and no serious adverse effects in patients using stem spine procedure for treating chronic lower back pain. So be sure to put that on your watch list. That's about all the information that I have on that. Let's get straight into what you signed up for. We've got major consolidation happening in the flower business. And this is where you're starting to see these big purchases happening. And you can pause the screen so you can read these three small paragraphs. And I just want to let you know that I remember from the last earnings call that Sundial CEO was talking about investing in a supply chain manager. So a forward thinking look of just understanding all these facets of the business and how they're going to make sure that they have the proper balance between supply and demand. It's going to be really important with this consolidation, the same thing that Sundial is trying to do, that you manage inventory well. So that way you can manage cost and you can manage cost flow. So let's cover this topic of a reverse stock split. Now we're looking ahead. We're imagining that this doesn't make it over a dollar, which I don't think it's, I think it's going to make it over a dollar. I think this approval goes through. I think we have a great earnings. Now, you know, earnings could go either way. It depends what kind of difficulties they had, but I don't know if this is going to make it over a dollar. They got to do everything right. A lot of things have to happen, but this is what it would look, look like. Two billion plus shares outstanding right now. If they did a five to one reverse split, then this would reduce it to a more manageable 400 million shares outstanding and a price of $3 each if they did 5 to 1. I think they should do 10 to 1 so that way we're closer to 7 or, or, or $6 because you just don't want this with a threat of going back under a dollar again. Now, I will do an update video if this even becomes a realistic factor before we even get there, but I don't 
think that we're going to get there yet. Now, that could change. Things could change within 24 hours, 48 hours. One week, I'll, I'll keep you updated. But I've got my eyes on this just so that way you're aware. Now, I like to look at the fine store location. I like to look at the job activity. So I'm going to be checking that out. But I just wanted to show you the number of locations. I mean, this transaction, when it goes through with Nova, and I believe it will, is just going to bring a massive retail space to this business. Sundial will have the biggest retail market reach in Canada uh, to date if, if this goes through. So it's a massive deal for the company. Now, let's take a look at the charts real quick because it went pretty flat. So I've, I'm in the 30-minute chart. And just like I was telling you last night uh, after close that this was going to hit the RSI and come back down. Now, it is in an uptrend. Check this out. The whole week, if we go back here, you can see once it started, it's uptrend. It has stayed above this 50 on the RSI. It touches and then comes back up. And I would expect that it might try to revisit this 50. So I would be patient if you're not in here or you're looking to add to a position. I would be patient tomorrow. Let this revisit, touch down. And I'm not sure at what point it's going to do that and find support, but you could you could say 53.45 would be a good marker to look to see if it finds support. That's not necessarily a buy marker. I'm not telling you to buy at 53.45. I'm saying you want to confirm the trend in the morning and then look for support. But it looks like it's been holding support and it's been doing these stair steps up, just a really nice, good trend up. Now, of course, it met some resistance here, and it's healthy for it to pull back before it starts trending back up again. But if you zoom in here, I mean, check this out. I mean, it was nice. It was real solid, but this is a red candle closing out the day. But I believe it is trending up in the, in the aftermarket. So uh, we'll have to take a look. Once the market opens, a number of things could happen. The president's over there probably ruining things for us, I'm sure, with uh, – his discussions with Europe. I mean, I don't know that we know what we're doing with all these sanctions. I think we're completely pushing Russia out of the global economy. And I don't know, I'm not completely sure that that's the right answer. I think we need all countries to come together. But hey, maybe that's just me thinking more peacefully and just understanding that there's a whole history back to 2014 between Ukraine and Russia. And I don't condone what Russia is doing. I just believe that we're not thinking ahead. We're just piling on these sanctions and not really understanding the famine cost and all the other costs. I just don't know that we have people smart enough to think ahead. But be careful. Recession will happen if these oil prices continue to go up. Be sure to like this video if you got anything out of it. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I'm going to make sure that that Discord link works in the description. It expires after seven days when we get that refreshed. That's all I got. I'll see you guys in the next video.